Russell West coming back to you again. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope you're doing good. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. And I want to greet you in the name of the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has truly made. And we should, we shall rejoice and be glad in it truly. Do me a favor. Do me a favor before I get started. Do me a favor. Do me a favor. If you had to subscribe, please subscribe in the right hand corner, right hand corner of your laptop or your phone. And also, after you subscribe, also hit the bell. There's a bell that notifies you whenever I come on live. And so now, let's get to the message. Let's get to the message. Let's get to the message. Now, now this is going to be a short message. This is going to be a short message. It's going to be a short message. But now, it's interesting because we can uh, want this car. And so, we'll save up for it. We'll save up for it. We'll save up for it. Then eventually, we'll get that car. We might want to go on this vacation. We'll save it for a good vacation. Or our car or something breaks down. Something breaks down that we really need. Breaks down. Maybe our, maybe we need some brakes. A whole lot of brakes and some tires. Maybe we've got this trip that, that we're going to take. And so we need to get it. And so we don't have so much money, but we, we want it so bad. And so we'll do what we can. We'll sacrifice what we can to make sure that we have the money to be able to get those tires for that car that you'll be able to uh, go on that trip in time. And so we are patient for so many other things. We're so patient for, uh, we, even with our friends, when our friends come around, got through some uh, uh, relational problems or whatever kind of situation, we're patient with them. We'll give them the strongest kind of advice and We'll even have the faith for them. We'll even have faith, strong faith for them and saying this going to happen and that going to happen and believing even even more than them. We can see things uh, uh, in other people's lives. We can, we can speak into people's lives. But when it comes to us, but when it comes to us, we get nervous. We get weary. And we get impatient. We get discouraged. It's inter it's interesting. It's interesting how you can go from someone else to yourself. How impatient you can become. So impatient. And so the words that that I'm going to speak today, and this is direct word. This is a direct word. Is that is to be patient with yourself. Be patient with yourself, because you know what? If you impatient with yourself. You're going to be impatient with everything else in your life. If you're impatient, if you don't love yourself, everything else reflecting the extension of you, you, you're going to hate it. You're going to hate it because you're the foundation. How can you, how can you, how can you, how can you look in between my eyes and tell me, and tell me that you love God, but you hate yourself. When you look in the mirror, oh, I just, everything just nasty. I hate myself. When the Bible says that we're fearful and wonderfully made. Now, how? How? Can't. If you say you love God, you need to change your conversation. Change your conversation. Change how you view yourself. Change how you talk to yourself. Like a flower, you talk a flower some way, that flower grow, talk to it, it'll grow, it'll grow up or grow down, depending on your conversation. Remember your life and death in your, in your mouth. Let your, let your mouth, let your mouth be, let your mouth be blessed, not poison. Don't poison yourself. Don't poison yourself. Love yourself. Help yourself. And most of all, be patient with yourself. All right? Woo! Hey.